Here is a DeLong Lure 6 inch weedless worm. This is one of the five packs. Uh, just so you know, there is also a tips and tactics. So you can scan the QR code and that will take you to a video where you have instructions and how to use them and it's very helpful. So, go ahead and open these bad boys up. There we go. We can take a look at them. Let's see. This right here would be your green pumpkin. Very nice. Got the weedless hooks. Let's see, we got pumpkin seed. So, there we go. Got your red bug. And then you got your fire tiger. It's actually a really cool looking And then you have your classic black. Really can't go wrong with the black one. They work really well. Just so you know, right here in the front, there's actually an eyelet. You might have to peel back the plastic a little bit. You can tie on directly there or go ahead and use a snap swivel. They both work well. You can also Texas rig these. You can Carolina rig these. You want to put a weight uh, right up on it or a little bit up the line. Either way, it works really well too, depending on what the fish are biting that day. So it's always one thing. But yeah, in case you didn't know, there's actually a 40 pound braided Kevlar line that runs from the front hook to the back hook. And that makes it so it won't fall apart easily. And also, so if you catch a fish on this back hook, it doesn't just rip right out, which is what would happen. But these things are very durable, last for a lot of fish, so you won't be disappointed there. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to use the DeLong six inch weedless worm. Now, best thing to do, if you can see right here real close, there's an eyelet right at the front. You might have to peel back the plastic. You can tie right onto that eyelet directly, or you can use a snap swivel, which I'm doing today. So I'll just go throw it in the water and I'll show you how to work it. So when using the weedless worm, like I said before, there's an eyelet on the front, just peel back that plastic a little bit if it's in there and you can tie on directly or use a snap swivel. Worms have got a lot of different uses. Uh, you can Texas rig them, you can Carolina rig them. Um, you can do it with no weight at all, which is what I'm doing right now. But you can always also just add a split shot, about eh, eight to 10 inches up the line if that's something you want to do. You can get a little more weight, get down a little deeper. But I just cast them out and just let them sit. Let them sit down. Work them off the bottom a little bit. Bring it up off the bottom. Reel in and slack a little bit. And work them off. One of the easy ways to do it. Another way you can do it is after you cast it out, rather than going up and down with it, give it a little snap to the side like that. And always make sure you have pauses in there. Just tend to hit on the pause. You do the pause, let it drop. That'll normally entice the strikes. Now obviously, if you're fishing where there are no fish or the fish aren't hungry and not fighting right now, sometimes there's not a whole lot you can do. So that's not the lure's fault. Doesn't matter what lure you're using, sometimes it just won't work. So you got fine fish. But hungry. Find hungry fish, you will catch fish. There you go, that is how you use this long six inch weedless worm. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can use worms, so just go ahead and try some other things out as well. Um, so, thank you for watching and tight lines.